Hello, how's everyone doing tonight? Loved, protected. I hope. So, I'm going to do more verses today. Verses 1 Corinthians 13, 1 through 13. If I speak human or angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and I have all faith so that I can move mountains but do not have love, I am nothing. And if I give away all my possessions, and if I give over my body in order to boast but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. is not boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not irritable. And does not keep a record of wrongs. Love finds no joy in unrighteousness, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things. Believes all things. Love never ends. And as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, they will come to an end. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when the perfect comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put aside childish things. For now we see only a reflection as in a mirror. But then face to face, now in part, but then I will know fully as I am fully known. Now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Jesus Christ, the perfecter of our faith, is the embodiment of love. Both from God and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, love for all of God's creations. They are for all and in all. Nothing done out of love can, nothing done out of no love can be sustainable. But everything done in righteous love is sustainable in their kingdom. Psalms 127, 1-5 If God's grace doesn't help the builders, they will labor in vain to build a house. If God's mercy doesn't protect the city, all the sentries will circle it in vain. It really is senseless to work so hard from early morning to late at night, toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough. God can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep. Children are God's love gift. They are heaven's generous reward. Children born to a young couple will one day rise to protect and provide for their parents. Happy will be the couple who has many of them. A household full of children will not bring shame on your name, but victory when, you're fa when you face your enemies. For your offspring will have influence and honor to prevail on your behalf. Without God's grace, nothing that is done will prevail against God. Everything is given unto us by God himself. And only what we do for him and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will have the fruits of their grace. They provide everything we need when we need it. Shall we remain faithful and trusting to them? Just as when we grow old and unable to care for ourselves, those who have children raised in God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will be held up by them, provided for by our children through the grace of God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Psalms 142, 1-3 God, I'm crying out to you. I lift up my voice boldly to beg for your mercy. I spill out my heart to you and tell you all of my troubles. For when I was desperate, overwhelmed, and about to give up, you were the only one there to help. You gave me a way of escape from the hidden traps of my enemies. When you have given God everything of yourself to him, he will give everything of himself to you. He will pull you from your depths, shower you with his mercy, take your troubles upon himself, and deliver you from all traps and enemies. God makes a way when you can see no way. Luke 2.21 and 28-32 when the eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived. 
Simeon took him up in his arms, praised God, and said, Now, Master, you can dismiss your servant in peace as you promised. For my eyes have seen your salvation. You have prepared it in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and glory to your people Israel. God loves us infinitely. Proof of this is the birth of his son named Jesus Christ by the angel Gabriel. He has brought with him their peace, love, mercy, and salvation for all who believe and live for them in the only true. Luke 2.14 Glory to God in the highest realms of heaven, for there is peace and a good hope given to the sons of men. Jesus Christ is the peace and the hope given to all mankind. All glory and praise to God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for taking on all of our sins and worries. In so doing, we are afforded the chance to follow them in the truth of life, whereby having eternal life in their kingdom shall we endure till the end. John 14, 27 I leave the gift of peace with you, my peace, not the kind of fragile peace by, given by the world, but my perfect peace. Don't yield to fear or be troubled in your hearts. Instead, be courageous. The peace from God and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is completely unexplainable. It goes far beyond mankind's words to be able to describe it. Once you have been given their peace, you will stand in any storm that comes into your life without fear, anxiety, or trouble. You will stand courageous in their peace, knowing that ultimate victory will always be yours through them alone. 2 Thessalonians 3.16 May the Lord is of peace himself give you peace always in every way the Lord be with you all to ensure their peace always rests with you you must walk in their will for your life constantly do this and you will never be without them they will never leave nor forsake you remember God Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior the Holy Spirit the angels and I love you all without question or reservation may God's love peace grace, blessings, joy, mercy, understanding, compassion, caring, kindness, patience, wisdom, protection, guidance, glory, goodness, corrections, truth and trust, salvation and forgiveness, steadfastness and faithfulness, strength and endurance, clarity and courage, favor and anointing, be with you, always guiding you through. I love you. Have everyone have a wonderful night. Stay safe and protected.